so I guess it's going. Okay. As long as we. So it really looks can... like, like I fit in with the hat too. <laughs> yeah. No one's gonna believe you when you say it. Yeah. So um, my name's Jeff. Mm -hmm. What's well, your name? My name's Peter. Peter. Okay. okay. So I don't know if I. I'll let you bring out your profession sure. if you want in okay. the video. So my question that I give everybody mm -hmm. is. What do you think happens after this life? What do you think comes next? Huh. Well, I, I think that uh, we go before God, who is a merciful judge, and uh, we are going to need to give an account of ourselves. Um, but God will take into account you know, the, the difficulties we've had, the, the uh, disadvantages we've had, or whatever. Uh, but we'll have to be honest, we'll have to look at ourselves very clearly. And then we hope that uh, we'll be able to make amends for anything we've done wrong. And uh, our, our goal is to live forever with God. Yeah. And the saints. Okay. I'm not... Sounds like... So... Okay. I'm going to disclose... Can I tell... You certainly may. Okay. So uh, Peter told me uh, right before I turned on the camera that he's a Benedictine monk. That's correct. And uh, I know that the... Um, monastery that he you live there right that's correct yeah and uh correct me if i'm wrong what's the like so they have a a way of making money right yes uh mainly our money comes from fundraising okay but we also uh sell and deliver caskets that are made okay in that's, that's i think i remember line is telling me that. yes and, yeah. and then we have a guest house with people come on right yep. Mm -hmm. yeah okay so um so so I'm not Catholic. Mm -hmm. You're Catholic, right? That's I'm right. a Benedictine, mm -hmm. but that's yep. an, like an order that maybe has more rules within it within the Catholic Church, or more. I don't want to say rules, but things that you've agreed to, like right vows that you take. You do, do take vows. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And so it's a very, very deep tradition. Saint Benedict wrote his rule in about the year 540, and so to enter into that long tradition, there are many things that monks have discovered over the centuries that are helpful for the kind of life we live. And so it's to our advantage to enter into that willingly and say, yes, I want to learn from the saints. Yeah. I want to learn how to live this life because it's not always easy. And so we want to take advantage of whatever wisdom there is in the tradition. That's largely been distilled into this rule that we call it, the rule of St. Benedict. Uh, but it's something we take on willingly because we, we want to pursue this, this particular yeah, kind of life. for sure. So... So it wouldn't be something like you're being strict or like under under obligation or under. I mean, I would once say you've taken the, like the vow. Military. You know, yeah. military is strict because if that's you, a good way to put you, it. Your yeah. brothers in the military count on you. You're in it together for a really important cause. And if someone's not serious about being a teammate, yeah, then it's not going to work. It's not safe for everybody to enter into this project. So yes, uh, we're pretty strict, but it's because we're, we're serious about helping one another, holding yeah, one another. Yeah, that's a good way of understanding it. Yeah. So I know you said you mm -hmm. have very limited time, so mm -hmm. I want to get to the um, the idea that, okay, so after we die, mm -hmm. back to that question, we stand before God, we give an account. Mm -hmm. Now, would you say some people give an account and they end up in hell and some in heaven? Mm -hmm. So there is a, a division. Yeah, there. let me say, I, I hope not that, uh, yeah. that, that people end up in hell. I think we have to take seriously the possibility that we can say no to God, that we can actually hide our hearts in such a way. Yeah. Um, but in the end, we don't really know. Uh, you know, the, the church has not given a ruling that anybody can believe. The only person we know went to hell is Christ. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, so, and, uh, so. and then you said the people, some people may need to, I don't want to say penance. Uh -huh. That was the word you used. Yeah, we would word, use I a think. word like reparation. Reparation, so, uh, yeah. Justice, you know, to, to live the fullness of our life, to live a really flourishing human life, we have to learn to act justly toward other people. We all let each other down. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, we have to make some kind of amends. And so once our life is over, we don't have time to dislike to make amends. That's the time to finish that work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so that's, that's just a necessary part of growing into who God wants us to be. Justice. Yeah. Um, I want to make the most of our time. A lot of times I'll, I, I like to really kind of dig into people's beliefs and kind of ask questions. Um, I think the best way that I could get to the heart of maybe what I would like to find out mm -hmm. is to tell you what I believe and then 
get your response, like how your beliefs are different. Okay. If that makes sense. Sure. So, so, um, so as a, so I'm a Protestant, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so we believe that that Christ, when He died, He, he paid that penalty for our our sins, all of our sins, past, present, future. We could die at any time, and He's He's paid for that. And by putting our faith in Him and in what He's done, we're taking our maybe our faith away from maybe our good efforts and away from like trying to prove ourselves somehow or trying to even make reparations and we're saying no Christ paid it all and so one of the things that we keep returning to is that like when he was on the cross he said it is finished and there's that understanding that yeah the, the price has been paid so what I would say about what you're talking about is there's there's justification which is what Christ achieved for us and then there's sanctification which means we become set apart or we become holy and that's kind of a lifelong process that yeah no we don't achieve it um, but standing before God in heaven he would Christ would be our our advocate our the one who stands in our place of you know like that God's justice does demand that there must be a punishment for our sin but Christ takes that punishment for us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so as far as additional reparations or a price to be paid yeah I'm just I guess what I'm not sure and I've actually talked about this very recently if you look at my YouTube channel a couple conversations back but um, I, uh, act, but it was in Spanish, so I don't know if it's in Spanish. But, um, uh, so there's that idea of, um, what's it, purgatory, mm -hmm. where a person is cleansed. And I, and I understand that it's not that that is paying our, our, our sin, paying for our sin, that that's what the, the church teaches Christ did that. But somehow we're cleansed by the, I guess, the fires, I don't know if it's the physical fires of purgatory or the, the suffering, and and we, we can, I, I definitely get it that we need to relate to Christ and what he did on the cross, and so if we go through suffering, we start to get a much greater appreciation for what he went through. Um, so I get that, but I'm just not sure how we could be sanctified by Maybe I just answered my question by that suffering. Yeah. So I'll, I'll stop there sure, and sure. get I'd, your response. I'd love to be able to go into more <laughs> detail, but sure. I would say, you know, it's about 99% of what you said. I'm in complete agreement. Uh, certainly none of us merits to get to heaven by the fact that we're creatures. I mean, we don't we don't merit eternal life. Yeah. Uh, that's something that's won for us by Christ on the cross. And, uh, love to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but I, I think when you're talking about sanctification, you know, to be sanctified, I think, implies that we actually grow into that person that God intended us to be. Mm -hmm. And so all our little failings take away from that. They, they, they cause us to lack something. And he wants us to enter heaven fully ourselves. And so this, when I talk about reparation, it's not making up for something that Christ failed to uh, help yeah. in, in his suffering. It's more an invitation of God for me to say yes and uh, admit to the, the ways I've failed. And to, to try to work with His grace to make good on that, so that my enjoyment of heaven is, is what it, it should be. You know, that I'm not, I'm not bearing with the, these imperfections that I brought from the other life. Yeah. They're all, they've all been burned away. And purgatory, you know, I, I was avoiding the use of that word, not because I'm embarrassed by it, but because I think it raises all kinds of associations. Yeah. So Especially I for to, a Protestant. Yes, you know, yes. Yeah. I wanted to use, you know, <laughs> terminology that would be more yeah. uh, neutral. But that's that's basically what I, I'm talking about. And, you know what what that's actually going to entail. Again, we can only speak out metaphorically because none of us have been there yet. But I think we do experience it, like you said, when we willingly take on the suffering that we have yeah. uh, in this life and the discipline. That and the discipline taken. we start to understand from inside, you know, how Christ redeemed us, how He said yes to His Father's will, that we can imitate and say yes to His Father's will in whatever circumstances. And that this creates a, a, a very deep bond then because yeah. Christ really comes alive in us. And we're, we are, in a sense, you know, joining ourselves into his and, and reading the picture. And he's, he's uniting his divine life to us. Yeah. 
So I'm, I'm sorry I have to wrap up, but uh, sure. I, I have to go pray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it like a set yeah, time? About for 15, that? yeah. Oh, okay. So I mean, All right. I respect that. You. I respect that. Thank you so All much. right. And uh, here, I'll give you my okay. information. All right. So you're not like a vow, like vows of poverty and stuff like that, right? Um, we, our, our vows include that. Um, we, uh, so that means we're not allowed to own anything personally. You know? so, so you can use to, technology. That's, can. that's what I was getting at. Yeah, so, yeah. so you can yeah, check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, God bless you, Peter. You All right, you take care. Yeah.